To understand this, we need to rewind a little. The hostilities between Israel and Hamas escalated after Israeli forces stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and tensions over the eviction of Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah intensified. In response, Hamas launched over 100 rockets towards Tel Aviv as an act of retaliation for an Israeli airstrike that destroyed a residential tower in Gaza City. This tower was home to an office used by Hamas and its destruction led to no casualties thanks to the prior evacuation of residents. In the wake of this, the Israel Airports Authority halted takeoffs at Tel Aviv Airport as a defensive measure. The result of these hostilities was tragic, with at least 35 deaths, comprising of 32 Palestinians killed in Israeli air raids and three Israelis killed in rocket attacks. As the situation worsened, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to increase the strength and frequency of strikes on Gaza. Hamas's leader, Ismail Haniyeh, responded stating that the group was prepared for both escalation and de-escalation. Fast forward to the 16th of May, the Israeli military made a significant move. They targeted the homes of Yehiyeh Sinwar, the most senior Hamas leader in Gaza, and his brother Muhammad, marking an escalation in Israel's ongoing bombardment of the Palestinian enclave. The home of Khalil al-Hayeh, a senior figure in Hamas's political branch, was also bombed. In addition to this, the Israeli army targeted Hamas tunnel systems, leading to the reported deaths of 20 fighters from Hamas and Islamic Jihad, though the Israeli side claims the number is higher. The toll on the Palestinian side was heartbreaking, with over 170 deaths, including 47 children in the Gaza Strip and 13 deaths in the occupied West Bank. Israel reported 10 deaths, including two children, from Hamas missiles. In the midst of this, intercommunal violence erupted in Israel. Israeli warplanes struck buildings and roads in central Gaza City, including the largest medical center in the Strip, leading to the death of the head of internal medicine at the hospital. The conflict initially began after Hamas fired rockets at Israel in response to crackdowns on protesters and raids at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The United Nations Security Council met to discuss the situation, but the destruction had already been done. To summarize, the destruction of Hamas by Israel was a result of escalating tensions and hostilities between the two sides. It began with the storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound by Israeli forces and the eviction of Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah, and escalated with Hamas's retaliation, leading to a cycle of violence and destruction that affected both sides deeply. As we look towards the future, the hope is for peaceful resolutions and an end to such conflicts.